Hello there guys, and welcome to the very very first episode of Dave's World for 2021. In this video, I'm going to create some original music that is designed to match a video that I recorded a while back on my phone while I was traveling uh, in Mexico. It's basically a video where I'm on a boat and I'm driving through a swamp and I go into a manglar, which is like a sort of a water forest. Um, so basically, this, this video is in two parts. And this is the first part now, and the second part will be coming out next week. So, um, I won't hold you back anymore. Enjoy the video. All the best, guys. Speak to you soon. Cheers. Okay, so we're just getting things set up in the little studio here. Uh, I've got a bunch of mic stands to sort out. And the first thing I think I'm going to be recording is going to be this little drum today, I think. Anyway, uh, got a bit of tidying to do and organising. So anyway, I'm going to get this all ready. We have got this uh, AKG mic set up here. And we've got the Shure mic down here under my chair. And I'm going to use this to record the drums. Over here, let's see. This is the video that we're going to create the music for. So this is in uh, Yucatan in uh, Mexico and we're on a boat and uh, yeah, I thought it was really cool the way it comes into this uh, like kind of under forest area. And it's a 30 second long clip. So I want to create a kind of action music going into some kind of serene, I don't know, maybe I'll show you guys a little bit about what I was thinking, you know, something kind of like, <laughs> I might listen back to that and think it sounds very silly. Uh, but anyway, it like, just gives me an idea. I want something really busy and it's going to get crazier and crazier until it goes in under the bushes and then eventually it comes into like a sort of big opening, um, glorious ah, sounding sort of thing. That's what I'm imagining. Guys, yeah, so I've got my drum here. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to watch the video. I'm going to try drumming along with it a little bit and try and get some ideas. Okay, so I'm just going to listen back to what I recorded and see how it sounds. Yeah, I think it sounds quite good. That gives me a basis to start working on. I'm going to take a little break for lunch. Um, now I've got everything kind of set up a bit and have a little think about what I could put over that um, drum beat. I'm thinking might be leaning towards rock guitars or kind of fast strum an acoustic guitar, that could be cool as well, or a mixture of both of course. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be guitar time next. Alright, speak to you guys soon. Yummy! Okay, so I'm back here after lunch, that was really tasty. Um, I've got my little drum beat here and I'm just going to play around with my acoustic guitar a little bit and see if I can work out something. I have a few ideas, so I'm going to see if I can work out something that, that could fit over the, the drums. So 
Something like that. Eh, uh, okay. Right, I think I've got something there. Um, let me just, I'm gonna get the microphones a little bit better set up for my guitar here. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna record some acoustic guitar. Right, so uh, I've got the guitar BI'd in. Uh, it's going through my acoustic preamp into my interface. I've got a mic for the neck and another mic here for the body. Um, so we've got a free channel for the guitar. So we've got plenty of options for mixing later on. Everything looks like it's okay level wise. But I've just realised that I want to tune this first and my tuner, of course, is behind the camera. So, as always, whenever you record guitar, make sure it's perfectly in tune. Okay, I'm just going to give this a few tries and uh, I don't think this should take too long. convinced yeah yeah so that's what I'm gonna go I think I'll do it again but I'm gonna go up high the second time round this the chords make them just and make them more minor instead of just he's kind of a power chord with open strings and then the third time is gonna be more of a heavy metal guitar Okay, we're finished with this guy. Let's get into this guy. Okay, so for my rock guitar, I'm gonna plug it into this Maxwell Marshall Plexi Classic plugin. So basically, this uh, emulates the sound of an old uh, Marshall amp from the 70s. Sounds really good. So I'm just gonna plug directly in there. I'm basically going to plug my uh, guitar directly into my interface, straight into the computer, and then put it through this amp. And that's all I'm gonna do for the sound just now, and I can always add other things like reverbs and delays and whatever later on. This is the guitar I used to use for years and years and years. Yeah, I played this guitar every day for, I don't know how long, probably the best part of six or seven years or something like that, when I was playing a lot of really heavy music and then it got left uh, back at my mum's place in Scotland for, for about 10 years in her loft. Uh, so when I moved back to Europe, I was living in Mexico before here, when I moved back to Europe, I just, um, I went and got the guitar, I brought it back over here to the Netherlands uh, I got it fixed up and got it working again So it sounds great now uh, Let's see if we can get a sound We can, oh let's see oh. So the good news when, when I'm plugged uh, directly into the computer is I don't need to uh, I don't need to use the headphones. This is quite fun, so you can hear everything that's going on. Um... So I'm thinking some kind of riff E. Finishing on this kind of F sharp 9. So it's got key 
tunes, it's got something, something else. Or B flat. Thing next, just to get some low end on the tune. Uh, okay, so we've got the the, the guitar here plugged in. Uh, now going again through the um, the preamp here into the computer and through the interface, and, and we've made got this um, amp peg. Uh, what's it? Amp peg SVTVR classic uh, bass amp, which sounds really nice. Oh. That was first take. Let's see how see if it was good enough. I think it might have been. So my favourite little trick, which is just to record a guitar part and then nip it down an octave, make it sound like a bass. How does it sound? Any good? Let's find out. I think that. Probably will be fine with a little bit of mixing and stuff. That that, that should be um, some acoustic guitar, some rock guitar, and some bass guitar uh, ideas down, and some drums so far. Okay, I'm gonna try and maybe mix this up a little bit and make it sound a little bit more uh, in balance, and think about what else uh, to add next. All right, guys. So I've given that a little mix. I think it sounds uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna add one of my favourite things to add. Um, I'm gonna add some claps. Cool. So um, I'm gonna record um, some claps along with the, the start section of this, um, and then I'm gonna do many different layers of claps so that it sounds like um, lots of people clapping at the same time. All right, good to go. Again. That already sounds cool. Let's add a third one. Okay, fourth set of claps. And clap set number five. Keep on going. Claps number six. Claps number seven. And I think one more time, claps number eight should do it. You guys want to hear how it's sounding? Four. Yeah.
we go. It's sounding pretty wild. Um, I'm going to have to do something more percussive for when things get a bit more rock over here with the, the metal guitars come in. Oh, I should mention to you guys that I changed amp. So before I was using those uh, Marshall amps, but now I'm using this. It's a Mercury Ignite by STL Tones. This uh, amp plugin here is free on their website, by the way, I should mention. It's incredible. It's just like a really heavy rock sounding guitar. I'll let you hear it on its own. Sounds brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, so those are great. So I put those in just to give it a bit more of a heavy metal sort of sound. Uh, okay, so what's next? Guys, thank you so much for watching. The, the next video um, on this will come out next week. And every single Wednesday from now on, I'll be releasing a new video here on my YouTube channel. So please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything that comes out. Um, all the best guys, have a great week and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.